Hello, in this video we are going to create tabs inside of a GUI window using TK Enter and Python 3, but we're going to set it up such that everything is enclosed within a class. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to import some things. So, we're going to import TK Enter as TK, um, and then from TK Enter import, we're going to import something called TTK. And this is kind of an added module that contains some additional tools that we need for this. So to enclose this in a class, we're going to make a class called display. Um, remember, best habits dictate that we always capitalize our classes. If you ever are a student of mine, you'll hear me drill that in over and over and over again. Um, it's a really important piece. Um, I'm going to make the constructor. The constructor is the special function that is called when you first create an instance of the class. So every time we use this blueprint, to make a new display object, it runs this function. So it's def space underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. This is just a convention that Python uses. Um, it looks really confusing, but you know you type it in enough, you'll get it down pat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a root window, um, which is essentially by creating an instance of TK, create instance of TK. Um, this is what controls your main window with your maximize, your minimize, all those things. I'm going to set the title of the window to GUI tabs class. And now what we need to do is we need to create what's called a tab control. So what we do is we put the tab control inside of, inside of, self.root, inside of that, I, I can't talk and type at the same time. So what we do is we create this instance of notebook, which I call a tab control, and we put that inside the root. And then what we do is every tab that we make, we put inside of the tab control. So I'm going to say self.tab1 equals ttk. Dot, and we call this a frame, um, self.tab control. And again, because we're working inside of a class, we name all our variables with self. Dot. I'm not going to get into why that is, but it actually makes a significant dif difference in what you're doing. Um, Self.tab1, or sorry, dot tab control, dot add, and we're going to add self.tab1, and we're going to make the text equal to tab, tab1. And then we're going to say self. Dot tab control dot pack expand equals one fill in both directions now let's make sure this works so I give this a run oh what am I missing <laughs> just two things self dot root dot main loop and now do you, have you picked up what the second thing I'm missing if you've watched enough of these you should um, I'll run it, and you'll notice that nothing happens. There's no window that pops up or comes up for us to access, and that's because we've made the blueprint for our class called display, but we haven't actually created an instance of it. So I'm going to say display, and this is how we create an instance. So we're going to create an instance of the class display, and the instance is called display with a small d, um, and then this just runs the constructor. And so if I run this, I should get, there it is, and there's my tab. Okay, let's make a second tab, and let's do some. I think I've heard people call this spaghetti coding, where we cut and paste. Um, I really discourage this if you're a, a new to programming, because actually typing this stuff out, though initially it takes a little longer, um, you actually become you actually become um, a better. You actually will remember the different. You remember the code you type in. So try and avoid it. So there are two tabs. Works perfectly. Now, one of the things I didn't do in my last video, which, um, and that was partly because of the way I was setting this up to show the first tab and then the second tab, is actually notice how this line here appears twice. I don't actually need it twice. I'm just going to do it after I've added everything. So I'm going to add the second tab in, and then I'm then I'm going to actually then I'm going to actually pack everything. Now, if I run this, I get the same thing, but there's one less line of code to, to deal with, which is kind of nice. Okay. Let's add an entry box to the first tab. Ent1 tab1 equals tk.entry 
and this is going to be self.tab1. There's this idea that what we're doing is, remember we're making the main window, we call it root, and then we put this tab control in the root, and then we add each of the tabs to the tab control. So, and then, so if I want to add an entry into tab one, that's where I'm going to put it. Self.entry one tab one dot pack. So I have to pack that. And then let's add a self dot btn one tab two equals tk dot tk dot button. And we're going to say self dot tab two because we're going to put that in tab two. Text equals button two or button tab two it's better self dot btn one tab two dot pack and I should now be able to run this and I have my two tabs there's my entry there's my button okay um, let's just plow through with this video and let's actually give give some functionality to these two things. Um, no, no, I'm going to stop here. In my next video, I'll, I'll, I'll add functionality to the entry and to the button. All right, hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day.